Hello, in the previous video, we could see how to establish the connection from CSE to our firewall and thus be able to publish services. We demonstrated how Service Tunnel works and how we can publish a web server using the Banyan domain through the hosted websites within the service catalog of the CSE console. In this video, we will see how to publish a web service using our own domain, for which we will have to register the domain and configure the DNS service. Let's get to it. Uh, we start the session through our MySonyWall account or via cloud.sonywall.com on the Cloud Secure Edge console. Once the single sign-on process from MySonyWall to the CSE account is finished, we'll go directly to configuration, certificates, and here we add a new registered domain. In this case, it's a public domain which is sonic.spain.net, so we'll set it to asterisk.sonic.spain.net. Okay, we click on save and continue after entering the domain name. No? And we go back to certificates. Here we have the created domain. And in the second tab, DNS settings, we have all the information we need to provide in our DNS zone. In this case, I'm going to log into my control panel. It is public and we have to create a name record sonicscreen.net. We see that we can copy and paste all the definition, the destination host. This is a public destination host, a TXT record. We select the dropdown. Here, each one will have a public DNS manager, so it might be a bit different for each of us. We wait for the page that was saving the changes from the previous entry to finish updating. Here it is. We generate a TXT record and paste the text. All right, well, the text is not correct. We need to paste the option from the other side. So it's not the whole domain, but the subdomain, and now we will paste the correct text. Here we go to select and the subdomain. Here, this is correct, and here is the long string of text that links us. And we created Mesamo. We wait for the app to have it created. Uh, and let's go for the last option uh, that we have to generate here. It has refreshed there. We select that other Z name. Copy the text and the same process. Control panel, Z name, and we paste the value or destination host, second, appear in your manager. Create, and we have it. Once done, we have those objects that will be public, and we can use them to publish our own services. There we see that the object has been created. We can return to the CSE console. We go to Certificates and what we're going to do is enter it and we have a button to... Validate. Once it's validated, you have checked that everything was correct and that's it. Now we have both verified uh, the default one, let's say, when we set up the console, when we indicated the primary organization and the one we just created. From now on, when we create a hosted website, if that's what we're going to do, we'll give it a name here, web server, for example. We only have one network, it's our connector, but notice that here, the registered domains are two, sonicspain.net and the one we had before, which we use to publish the Network Security Manager. Here we use another service, another server, another IP address, in this case through port 80. We select the certificate and notice that in the access details option, the domain is selected. 
In the summary, we can see that the web server will be accessible through www.sonicspain.net, which will then route through the device. Here we see that there is still nothing in the console, in the application. No? We need to finish, we need to add a policy. I insist we will look at policies later. For now, I am keeping them simple. Let, let's... So... Well, for testing and stuff, the most permissive would be like having no policy. Everything would be allowed and it would just alert in case of non-compliance. Since we're using the basic ones, we don't really care right now. We save and validate, the service is already available. And we're going to reopen the application, refresh here, no need to log in. And we can open this service, this web service, and this is what appears. I access www.sonicspain.net via HTTPS. The server is HTTP and this traffic is passing from my client to the CSC application. Then with through the cloud service, through the firewall, and in this case to a VPN, but that doesn't matter to us now. What I just did is log out of the application. I'm going to open a page in incognito mode because it seems the cookies are not allowing me. And here we see sonicspain.net. I have the session closed, but from here I can start one or log in with my user account. And in this case, I can access. Why can I access? Because I am a trusted user or device since I already have the application and it detects it. However, if I open the mobile phone and connect to that same URL, we will see a different behavior here, sonicspain.net. We click on go and we see that the device is not registered in the application and therefore cannot connect. Of all the accesses and access attempts, as always, nothing remains saved, let's say, statistics. And here we have the trash level is very low for these failures. And if we deploy each of the items we see here, we can break it down. And if we select the option of device, we see that a non-Android device. And, well, in this case, the browser, Android Backpack 5 and so on. And we see that it effectively identifies the device. This concludes today's video. Thank you very much for your attention.